Part 4, not part 5 actually, part 4, uh, as promised, I was going to continue Lucy for Weep Wednesdays, Anime Wednesdays, however you want to call it, uh, <laughs> I just literally just woke up about like 10-15 minutes ago, so I'm sounding a little, uh, <laughs> scruffy and tired and whatnot, but, you know, hey, gotta do this video, gotta get it out the way, had a good ass nap. But now I feel like I'm getting a slight headache. But still, I will try to upload Lucy today. Because I need to. So let us continue. In the last part, uh, I think we were heading home or heading to school. I don't know what happened. I think we have Lucy back. But, uh, yeah. Let us continue. Can't wait. Uh, let's see. Exiting, we head out to the sidewalk. The music is pretty loud. I completely forgot about that. I stopped my tracks and I gotta read all this, man. I really do need a, uh, you know, voiceover for me. Or for, you know, yeah, for me. That way somebody can read it. Hey, I'll pay you. <laughs> Probably. In silence, I kneel down facing away from Lucy. Hop on. I add an explanation to make sure that she understands. That means you likely put your arms around my neck and climb onto my back and not break my back for the next... I don't know, a few minutes of walking home, or wherever. Master, yes, just a quick question. What is it, Lucy? Does Master think that Lucy is dumb? Hmm. Well, I'm not saying you're dumb, but you know, just hop on my back. No questions asked, okay? No further questions. Just get on my back. We're going home. I guess I no longer have to worry about being choked to death. Oh, you can, you know, use your legs, okay. I feel her weight gradually shift onto my back. Oh, never mind. She is on my back now, then, okay. For a robot, she's very light. She was probably measured to weight as a normal girl. Huh. What is it, Master? No, it's nothing. As soon as she climbs onto my back, I can't help but notice a fragrant aroma rise arising from her body. She has an aroma? What? what kind of perfume does she have? As an android. How weird. It's neither too intense nor fleeting. It gently spreads evenly along my nose. Such with a sweet, fruity scent reminiscent of a youthful girl. Yet there is a hint of spicy akin to a mature woman. It doesn't fail to stimulate the mind of a teenage boy going through puberty. This is bad. I've never experienced something like this. Chill out, dude. It didn't happen this morning, but why now? It's probably because of the smell. I wasn't there earlier, feeling a little faint. Just really tried to get a grasp of the situation. Master, the heart rate is rapidly increasing. Is something the matter? Nah, nah, nah. Just don't worry about it. Just stay in my back. Don't fall off. You know, everything's good. You have a, an aroma now for some apparent reason as an android. But, you know, everything's okay. I'm tired still. I just woke up for two minutes ago. Okay. Nothing to worry about. She's managing my heart rate. It's not fair. I feel a little embarrassed from feeling that I'm nervous wreck right now. I'm able to hold back. I decide to be honest to myself. I feel like I want to read off script or something. Like, just... Okay, anyway. The smell. What is it? Is it because of that? The man of the shop gave Lucy all sorts of gifts. Ah... Uh, that bastard. It was definitely him. He gave things away for free to Lucy, including... <laughs> she told Lucy that since she's a girl, she needs to take a good care of herself. She takes out a bottle of perfume. Yes, as I was saying, perfume. Amongst many other makeup accessories. Jeez, that guy is scary. Really scary. He's the type of person who spends the whole day forcing his pet dog into different clothing. <laughs> That's why they didn't want to leave Lucy over there with the guy. He's a bigger creep. He's a creep, man. I'm not going to leave Lucy over there. Hell no. Taking back her as home. To consider that as animal abuse, wouldn't, be that silly. wouldn't this be some kind of robot harassment? Hmm, I don't know. All this stuff just for robot. What a silly guy. Uh, she just put the file. <laughs> why are you laughing? For no reason. <laughs> Have I just been seduced by a robot? Well, there goes all my dignity as a human being. Uh oh. Oh no. It's like. Okay. No, it's not too heavy. I didn't say anything, Lucy. 
What are you going on about now? I totally try to sound irritated. It doesn't affect her in any way, however. This is body. Is too heavy for master. Nope. Oh, what the hell did I do? Ah, uh, oh, it's text log. What? I don't know how I did that mouse wheel. Hmm. You're lighter than I expected. Hmm. There we go. Well, you're lighter than I expected. There's, yeah. Yes, you are. Oh, she's back in Is that supposed to be funny? Have you been deceived all your life? Maybe I was being too rough on her. I didn't think she starts being so skeptical. Before I ruined her completely, I decided to treat her a little kinder from now on. Huh. <laughs> What the hell? I hear a small girl coming from my back. Will a robot really feel that flattered to be called light? I don't know. Humans can't be expected to understand a robot's heart. He's gonna start treating Lucy a lot more kinder now. Hopefully, I don't even know. We'll see. Am I still carrying her on my back? Soon enough, the streets became immersed in the orange love of the evening sun. Seems to be changing more slowly than usually. Maybe it's because I've been carrying Lucy on my back. Damn, this guy's been carrying her on his back for the next, I don't know how long, hour, two hours. The sun's going down already, but it's not that a, a lot of time had passed. The winter was just on its way. As evidenced by this increasing shorter days, Lucy hasn't had, said anything for a while. Maybe she's asleep. I steal a glance at her, wondering if she's asleep, but she's not. She's just wondering. She appears to be lost thought. Staring at every what? Ah, oh, I didn't read that shit. Uh, she looks like a child inside a pleasant dream. I can see your eyes sparkling. Holy shit, this music is loud. Here we go again. There we go. That's better. Is it really that fascinating? What does Master mean by that? Yes, this guy. This place. My home. It's quite marvelous. I can't say if I agree with that. Unlike downtown, there aren't many distractions here to keep us busy. Nor are we near any beautiful landscapes. Just like where I live, there's nothing here. There's no downtown here. There's nothing where I live except houses and trees and small communities. <laughs> uh, and just small stores in the mall. Oh well. We're walking down a plain old street you can't find anywhere. What part of this place do you find marvelous? Everything. Everything? Yes, absolutely everything. What the hell's wrong? But she, in the past, Lucy always needed permission to go outside. Oh, I didn't have any chances to wander the streets like this. Now I understand. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. So basically, it's fascinating to see the way everything changes around Lucy as she moves about on my back. Fresh new sight to behold one after another, being able to take in everything at Lucy's own pace. Speaking of which, guys, uh, uh, let's see. Tomorrow, I still don't know what to upload tomorrow, but it'll probably be Supreme Order video, Let's Play, continuing one. And then on Friday, I'll be starting a new minor Let's Play, actually, as I said before, with uh, Colombia, a.k.a. Gran Colombia, so expect that, guys, on Friday. And then I'll probably be streaming as well, probably some Overwatch, that's what I really want to do, since it's still the uh, first year anniversary or something like that for Overwatch. I want to get more loot boxes and whatnot. <laughs> Lucy finds it delightful, that's why everything looks so harmless. Okay, I see. Suka. I couldn't relate to the sensation she just described because you've lived it your whole life, I think. Master? Yes. Yes, Lucy. What is it? Well, it's already getting a little more intense now, by the way, guys. You know, the music, you know, Lucy on my back, you know, having these conversations. I can see that, you know, their bond is getting closer. My bond with Lucy is getting closer, and uh, it's gonna be something serious later. Watch, I'm gonna have to care about Lucy now. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh no! Again, a lot of people have been saying that the game will literally make you cry. That's what happened to a friend, uh, and to another YouTube viewer, I think. Uh, Mr. Peace guy, I think that's what you said as well. <laughs> oh boy, I should definitely do a face cam for the finale of this game. 
So that's why I'm not trying to, you know, finish the game in one get go. I'm trying to, you know, savor it and try to stream it as well whenever. I still haven't even streamed it once yet, but I'm going to try to on Twitch with my face cam and then upload it as a highlight to YouTube, actually. Basically, like an hour, 30 minutes, something like that. Lucy is very sorry. No, Lucy, do not say that. What's with you all of a sudden? I'm caught off guard by the unexpected apology. Has she really done everything, anything wrong? Lucy is being too chatty and annoying today. She is very sorry. Lucy is supposed to be calm understanding of others, but... No! No, keep talking to me. I found it strange how Lucy was telling me what kind of person she was supposed to be. Is there an option? No! Keep the conversation going. I don't like it when it's silent. Nah, I don't like that. That's too awkward. Like, when it's silent, when people don't say anything, you know, just stare at each other for like the next five minutes or more. Heck, even a minute or two. That's just awkward. That's just plain old awkward. I can't do that. I you need to keep the conversation going, you know. Uh, you gotta be like uh, President Obama, you know. He stutters every now and then trying to say something, but he gets it out, you know. Even though it takes him a few seconds, he, he still gets it out and it keeps the conversation going. President Obama, you know, amazing person. Now we have Donald Trump. Alright, enough of that. I don't know how I brought up president. But still, you just gotta keep the conversation going. You know, just bring up any topic. No, don't stop there. Probably I laughed at them. Lucy had told me the same thing. And by himself will never be able to find out what kind of person he truly is. Sitting in front of a mirror reveals all the flaws of your body. Sitting in the front of a person reveals all the flaws of your personality. If you ever wanted to find out something about yourself, it needs to be reflected back to you by something else. That's why I'm trying to describe your own personality. The same describing what kind of person you actually want to be. Wow, that's pretty deep. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie. That's speaking truth right there. Note that, guys. It'd just be a bunch of pretentious nonsense. But this is only the case for humans. Lucy is an android, she's not human. That's why it doesn't sound strange coming from her. This is probably just happy to be able to greet her first master. It's also been a while since Lucy was last active, so that was a big exciting too. It was such a natural explanation about how she felt. She was happy to meet her first master, me. And she was happy to be able to finally move around again. You never served anyone else before. Master Master is Lucy's first. Is that so? So she's a new model that no one has ever touched. That line of thinking sounds dirty, but that's not what I mean. I enjoyed her time back at the lab. The research were all so very kind. Lucy talked about a lot of things, but everyone learned a lot too. A lab. Did she say... Oh, I'm sure they treated her well. <laughs> Whenever Lucy said something interesting, whenever Lucy did something she was told to do, they were so happy. That's because you were a lab brat. That's not, you know, happy. happiness. They will say Lucy's very smart and pat Lucy's head. Yeah. Lucy liked every match while Lucy decided to learn a lot more and do a lot more things. And they came to love Lucy even more. They were probably just testing her abilities. In my mind, I found the whole center unsettling. To Lucy, however, it's, it's a treasured memory of her past, but there's an important question yet to be answered. That's why. I, oh, then why were you abandoned? That's right. Why were you in the garbage deposits or whatever? Why were you there in the scrapyard? I've always been meaning to ask her, but I can't easily bring myself to do so. I ask myself why. Maybe it's because I'm starting to care about this robot's feelings. I shake my head. That's just plain nuts. It's only because she sounds like a real person. It's a dangerous thought. No, it's not, dude. Let's get it out of my head. No, dude. Don't, 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 you know, don't just push her away like that. I blurt out the question. Then why were you abandoned? <laughs> hmm, Lucy goes silent. Nothing is said for a while. Aquinas searches into an awkward silence. See, that's what I don't like to do. I don't like that shit. You just... Make it into an awkward silence. Nah, screw that. I started regret asking the question. That's fucked up. That's sad. Damn. See that? She was just a lab rat for the scientists, man. And then this guy over here. Douchebag. Deep. <laughs> man, that's messed up. Why'd you say that, man? Why would you say that? It's like, I mean, you know, you gotta get the, the answer out at least. 
With those words, Lucy finally breaks the silence. Somewhere along the line, they stop smiling at Lucy. They stop praising Lucy. Actually, they forgot about Lucy. Damn, Lucy. It's kind of, that's kind of sad right there, man. I'm not gonna lie. While running out of reserve power, Lucy could only keep track of the passing time. Doing absolutely nothing, it felt like an eternity. Those days went on and on. Then, one day... Me! Lucy goes silent once more, and one day she found herself left in the dust. This is what she probably wanted to say. Oh, Maybe they didn't like something about her, or they found a significant flaw within her design, but I don't like the fact that they had just tossed her aside after giving so much love and attention. Yeah, man, you can't do that, just like to a pet. You can't just toss it aside and abandon it. What the fuck's wrong with you? Aren't they being too inconsiderate? Small rage boils inside of me, direct as those cruel researchers with no sense of responsibility. When I agree my sense after a I've become surprised at how angry, how angry I was. What was I thinking? They were just throwing away a failed experiment. The edge on my back is nothing more than an impressive fake. She's not real. She's not a living creature. It's only natural that useless machinery is thrown away. There's no need to be so angry. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh-oh, his pulse is rising again. Is something wrong? It's nothing. I stop measuring that all the time. <laughs> program to record the master's temperature automatically. Then it's in order. I order you not to measure anything from now on. Damn, that's messed up. Stop being such a douchebag, you. You, I don't even know, I forgot his name. That's not me. There's, no, there's another sign, but this time not an unpleasant one. But Lucy's very tangled towards Master, I just can't seem to figure out this robot's train of thought. Nani? Lucy doesn't know how much time has passed since she was thrown away, but judging by Lucy's own temperature, it seems that a long time had passed. Lucy was always surrounded by darkness, and she could never sense any human presence. It was very dark, it was very quiet, Lucy was feeling very lonely. And suddenly Lucy heard a gentle voice. I remember talking to you like that. <laughs> but to Lucy it was like a soft, tender whisper from an angel. At last, in the darkness, the light that Lucy had lost so long ago had finally returned. It was Master who found Lucy. Oh my gosh, it was me. You are overreacting. She's definitely going overboard with this. No. I just happened to notice her while catching passing by. Lucy tried her hardest. To make Master notice Lucy, Lucy pushed and pulled her body with all her might. What? And then Lucy's once froze, once frozen hands had mercilessly started moving. They were only a few words which didn't contain any significant meaning, and it was only a moment when, a moment's whim that I've taken her home. But I was surprised; those simple reactions were such a big help to the robot. Lucy is very thankful that Master had taken her in. Being able to say the most important things without hesitation. I guess that's one of the advantages of being a robot. I can feel my face beginning to flush. I quickly duck in order to have my parents in. Uh, shut up. I'm gonna make you pay for what you're worth, so you better be ready for it. Huh, <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Just go home already. Take it. Lucy's prepared. Oh man, this guy. What's so funny? Why do you keep laughing like that? It's creeping me out. She doesn't know she cannot contain her laughter. Maybe it's a mouth What should Lucy do? <laughs> Lucy quietly rests her cheeks against my shoulder. The sensation of her soft skin causes me to flinch. She feels very much different compared to this morning. She feels as if I'm carrying a real person on my back instead of a robot. So I wonder what could be causing this difference in perception. What is it just a placebo effect? Or had something really changed since the morning? Something really did change. Was it me or the robot? I can't ponder over the question on my way home. Never managed to come up with an answer. <sighs> looks like we're heading home and looks like we have a right home. But this is where I'll end part four of Lucy, actually. 20 minutes is enough. Again, I just read this like two, three times ago when I started the game. Doesn't matter. Lucy is Lucy. She's not just a robot or an android. Lucy is Lucy. I want to keep Lucy uh, safe. I'm going to care for her, unlike, you know, those mad scientists that were trying to, you know, keep her as a lab rat, or this D-bag here who just really doesn't care that much, doesn't care too much about Lucy, but is trying to care, he's trying to, you know, care for her, 
but again it's still not fully on board since he really doesn't like androids or robots and it's in the future by the way but uh again guys there's part four of lucy hope you guys enjoyed it uh tomorrow i really don't know what i'm going to upload but we'll see maybe i should do a straw poll i don't know i might do a straw poll actually between i don't know what let's plays but we'll see you guys can vote on straw poll link below all right, as always, Double Gamer, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.